Hi, right guys. Um, it's been a long day. It's been good. Just getting back to the campsite now. It's getting dark. It's about half nine at night. Langdale Pike's behind me. That's where we've been up today. Um, so if you want to see where it all began, keep watching. And we'll go back to the start in a minute. And thanks for watching Gone Hiking. <laughs> Okay, afternoon guys, here's my uh, tent set up at uh, Bayes Brown Farm in Chapel Style in the Lakes. Plan today is to walk over there to Chapel Style, head up the top via the waterfall, walk along the ridge, and then just out of sight is the Langdale Pikes. Have a walk up there, uh, kind of see what time of day it is and go from there really. go right it doesn't look like a path but that is a path it's pretty overgrown with bracken it's pretty much steep straight up and uh, the paths come from down there and there's a the village It's a bit windy, so I hope you can hear me. We're uh, we're not far off the uh, top of the minute. The quarry and Elta water. Now we can see Coniston in the distance, and then down the other valley, Grassmere. So uh, we switch round, the moment on our right, and uh, there's some steep drop offs onto the left. Guys, how's it going? I'm um, up here on the top of um, Swine Hill Pike, and um, the plan is to spin round to head over that way to Langdale Pikes. Um, it's been a good walk so far, just over an hour in, and made a lot of the climb, um, got some gradual up and downs along the way to the pikes behind me. Not sure quite how long it'll take, but um, I'm going to walk on in a sec and I'll uh, do a bit of filming as I walk. Sorry if it's uh, really windy, but uh, just going to do a bit of spin round. Get some views. Guys, so we're doing something really unusual today for me, uh, which is setting off at three in the afternoon. Normally, I like to be done by three and uh, in the pub, but um, this morning the weather was absolutely miserable. It was throwing it down. Um, haven't seen the sun for a couple of days, so I just thought I'm going to wait. I'll do an afternoon hike into the evening. Um, see how long I'm up here for. Um, maybe uh, try and get some sun off the path a bit, go back to the path, 
I'm walking through a bog. Maybe, as I was saying, try and do uh, a bit of an evening hike. Try and get some sunset pictures, maybe. Um, and either chase the light back there or get the head torch on. Do a little bit of night hiking. So that's the plan. Um, first stage, first stage. Cut, start again. First stage, get to Langdown Pikes. Probably not a good idea to film going across this. Oh, no. Sorry if that footage was terrible. I don't think it's going to make the edit. So um, I've been walking for an hour 45 now. I'm um, still kind of walking across the top from Chapel Style to Langdale Pikes. Um, kind of judging from how far away they are. Maybe half to two thirds of the way there. Sorry about the wind noise. Um, so um, just pushing on at the minute. Can't really tell you the mileage, I'm not really tracking the miles at the minute. Um, might work that out all after and uh, add it to the end of the video. But uh, just come up on that little tarn here. Behind me. There it is. It's just beautiful across the top here. Rocky, grassy, a little bit windswept in places, but um, it's, it's pretty, really pretty. Daring contest with a sheep. So, quick lunch stop. Um, seven minutes, and I'm already itching to get going again. I could do with a bit longer break. Uh, just had a farmer's half a farmer's pie from Booths in uh, Keswick. Good shit. Right, so just uh, had a few minutes dinner stop, a bit of food, back on the trail, and it pretty much looks like the path is going to go up over there to High Rays, wherever the summit is, over there-ish. Don't think it's that one, might be. And uh, follow the ridge line round to Harrison Stickle, I think. And uh, let's get moving. Guys, uh, that uh, little mound just over there is the top of high rays, but uh, the path just run out and it's a peak bark on top of here, uh, so I need to find the path.
Okay guys, made it. Just up there is the top of Harrison Stickle. I just walked out along here just to get some views of the valleys. Wow, look at that. Pico Stickle. Ophel. Crinkle Crags. Okay guys, so that's the valley we started down, campsite's about there, walked into chapel style up, across along the ridge, along the ridge, along here, over the back there, round that one, across up to high rise, down the dip, up over Thundercar Crag, round and up here to uh, the top of Harrison Stickle and there's Piker Stickle over there uh, not sure if I'm going to go up there I think I'm going to make my way down in between them so we'll see what happens okay so it's uh, just gone seven in the evening and I'm probably not going to do Piker Stickle um, it's time to make my way down to the pub I think so I'm going to either cut down Loft Crag down there or I can't think of the other one, it was a crag. Um, loft crag I have to go back up a little bit and then down. Um, looks like the more well trodden path and it goes by a waterfall, but can I be bothered gaining elevation again? Probably not. So I might take the uh, more trickier route down the, uh, down the gill, down the stream. Give it a go. So yeah, mine made up. Not going to uh, go up over there. Going to take a uh, thorn crag and um, just spin this round. Show you what I mean. Or maybe I won't. But yeah, we'll get in thorn crag. See what happens. New route to me, so uh, looking forward to it. Right, so that's right at the top of uh, Harrison Stickle, and down here is the path, and it. Uh, Follows the edge around there. Big drop offs. Okay, finally made it down. There's the gill at the back. And let's get over this stile. Ooh, stuck. Bear with me, folks. Choice to make in a minute. Ooh. Choice time, folks. That way, it's the old dungeon gill just down there to the stickle barn and the right way to the campsite that's the wrong way that's the better pub so if I go that way I can do more pubs coming back that way mm. sounds like a plan oh, you'll get this in 